Okay, we're in the boiler room now for a leak I was just showing you. Now this is the boiler here that's heating the hot water. There's actually five separate boilers here going into a common header and it goes out into a loop system and there's zones and there's zone pumps on there pumping the hot water all through the building through inch and a half copper lines. Now, the leak that's out there, we, we measured the amount of water that was leaking at that leak and these are some phenomenal numbers here. That leak was losing three gallons a minute. Now, three gallons a minute, that's 180 gallons an hour. That's 4,320 gallons a day. That's 30,240 gallons a week. That is 120,960 gallons a month. And if it was on for a whole year, of course, this is only on for the, the winter season. But if that leak was leaking for an entire year, that would be 1,451,520 gallons a year. Now, of course, the boiler system is not on all year. It's shut off in the summertime. But there's a lot of downside to that, too. Uh, here's more problems. The boiler, even though it has chemicals put in, is treated. Those treated chemicals with that leak are gone within the first probably five minutes. Uh, you're constantly injecting water, cold water, into the boiler, so the boiler is not operating efficiently. So you're using a lot more gas. You're also putting minerals in it. You've got a lot of mineral deposits in these boilers. You're, the life of the boiler is a lot less because of that leak. The mineral deposits throughout the whole piping system are building up. So, and the sewer bill. So this leak has been leaking for over two years. So uh, we haven't even put the numbers together yet, but the amount of money that fixing this leak is going to save this company is phenomenal all the way around. So you got water, sewer, the gas on the boilers, and the damage being done to the boilers and the piping system. Another quality job done by HEFCO, H2OLeak.com.